Halo, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Halo everyone, I'm Alice Manikos. My student number 069. Today, I will explain about at a school-wide level, full school policy on classroom management. Why the classroom is the context in which students learn and spend most of their time in school is closely connected to other contexts of schooling such as playground, changing rooms, toilet, snack bar, and camping. For example, if some students are aggressive towards each other in the toilets, they will also tend to be hostile to each other in class. Therefore, the orderly and positive environment necessary for effective teaching and learning can only be created and maintained when school when all school members are involved in enforcing the discipline policy and work willingly together as a team inside and outside the classroom. Therefore, the orderly and positive environment necessary for effective teaching and learning can only be created and maintained when all school members are involved in enforcing the, the discipline policy and working willingly together as a team inside and outside the classroom. And then, in addition to, en to enhancing the consistency of classroom rules, disciplinary, the practice and policies of behavior management, a whole school policy on classroom behavior helps to unite teacher and promoting students. Good behaviors. It suggested that such as common common ethos can be developed by the first creating a positive and orderly climate where teaching and learning can take place. The second creating a safe environment for students and teaching through the clarification of expectation rules, rights and responsibilities. The third, reducing teacher stress through identify effective system and practice, and the last, addressing the demand of changing condition and approaches. That's all for me. Thank you. Sorry if sorry if I made a mistake. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.